Welcome to AEHelp.com's IELTS Test Preparation videos. In this lesson, I will explain how to use connectives in the speaking and writing to increase your band scores. Again, we have partnered with Skillshare, a world-class platform that lets you learn hundreds of skills all taught by professionals. Whether it's photography, communication, or writing skills for the English language, Skillshare is a great place to start. Skillshare has been generous enough to give us this code also in the video description for the first 1,000 signups to get two months for free. I have been using Skillshare to learn videography and photography so that I can bring you even better lessons and so far I'm loving it. Explore your creative side and increase your skills for university. Begin by joining Skillshare today. Now watch and learn. Connective words or phrases are vocabulary and expressions in English which help you to join together ideas and elements of communication in your writing and in your speaking. There are a few different families of such words. Let's start with the basics. Let's start with conjunctions. Conjunctions are words or phrases that join sentence elements or sentences. There are three types of conjunctions in the English language. Coordinating conjunctions, correlative conjunctions, and subordinating conjunctions. I have included links in the video description to give you lots of resources and details that explain each of these. Now, let me give you an overview of coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions are a closed set of words that help to join sentence elements like nouns or adjectives, as well as entire sentences and phrases. This is a closed set of words that you can remember from the mnemonic device fanboys for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Now, of course, each of these words are used in different situations. And is used as a plus. Okay, my brother and my sister play the piano. Or they're used to show opposition, like but. My brother plays the piano, but my sister does not. Okay, so these are your coordinating conjunctions. Many of you are already familiar with using words like and and but. Make sure to practice other words in this group as well, like yet and nor. Nor and yet are less commonly used by non-native English speakers, but they are great to include in your speaking and writing of the IELTS exam, as that will help to push your lexical resource mark higher. Now let's talk about correlative conjunctions. Correlative conjunctions are paired conjunctions and they function quite similarly to coordinating conjunctions. For instance, you have not only but also, neither nor, either or, whether or, both and. Once again, I have included a link which gives the full list and some more information for these. What's important to remember about correlative conjunctions is that they help to emphasize communication. That means it gives the connection between elements in a stronger way. Let me give you an example. Both my brother and my sister play the guitar. This is stronger than just simply saying my brother and my sister play the guitar. Once again, both my brother and my sister play the guitar. Correlative conjunctions can be very useful in your speaking and in your writing for the IELTS to give strength and emphasis to your communication, thereby improving your band scores. Make sure to practice these before your test. Let's talk a little bit more about subordinating conjunctions. 
Subordinating conjunctions are the biggest family of conjunctions or joining words, and they are divided into four subcategories. Condition, opposition, time, cause and effect. And each of these have lots of words. For instance, cause and effect has the words because and since. My brother and sister play the guitar because they have been learning since the age of five. Here I'm using several of these subordinating conjunctions. Or condition. If I were a professional football player, I would earn a lot of money. This is using if. These kinds of conjunctions can also be phrases like provided that or given that. Provided that I had a boat, I would go fishing every weekend. Subordinating conjunctions are very useful to increase the grammar range and complexity of your language. You have to use the, these to get into those higher band scores in your writing and speaking of the IELTS exam. Once more, to go deeper into this type of conjunction, have a look at the video description for links. Now, let's talk about some other types of connective words that can really help to bump up your score. In English, there are many phrases and words which are leading expressions that help to connect ideas and create more fluency. Many students are already familiar with words like firstly, secondly, to begin with, finally. Make sure to learn a broad range of these words so that you sound unique in your speaking and writing. Use words like furthermore, moreover, conversely, and many others. Again, I have included a link with definitions and sample uses in the video. Try to broaden your vocabulary base with these leading expressions so that you're not just one of the many students, but you are unique. Now, let's talk about one more type of connectives that are very useful to get those high band scores. To make your speech more connected, more natural and fluent, you have to use pronoun determiners. This means using the words which, that and who to add description and connection to your communication in your writing and speaking, which is used often as an adjective clause. The car which I bought yesterday has 200 horsepower, or the food which is on the table looks fantastic. Now, which is used in non-restrictive situations. This means in situations where you can take out the adjective or adverbial clause and the sentence still makes sense. If you have to have the clause in the sentence, then you have to use that. The antibiotics that the doctor prescribed me are very effective. In this case, I have to use that instead of which because the clause cannot be removed from the sentence. Without going into too much grammar here, again, you will find a link in the video description to give you more information about this. For now, just remember that you have to learn and use the words which for describing objects, places, who for describing people, and that similarly to which in clauses where you have to have the clause to make sense. Make sure to use these correctly so that you don't lose scores for accuracy. Take a look at this sample band 9 essay that uses conjunctions, leading expressions, and which, that, and adjective clauses to create connected and fluent communication to get that high band score. Good luck the next time you sit your IELTS exam. To see more video lessons like this one, so that you can get those high band scores the next time you sit your IELTS exam, 
with original practice tests and a fully interactive course and over 100 hours of video lessons. Visit and get our premium package at aehelp.com. Use this discount code to save 10% also in the video description. Download and link the app Academic IELTS Help. Begin learning for success today. Subscribe to our channel. Click over here. Watch another video. Click right up here. And click our IELTS Hero to join our premium package and get access to all of our videos, practice exams, and a fully interactive course.